Hi, Orange Girl here with another scrapbooking process video for you. I am using items that I purchased at the Paper Issue store. Use the code Orange Girl and save 20% on anything in the shop. So this is a layout by Kat Benjamin, and we are scrap lifting her today over on the Paper Issues Friends and Fans scrapbook page. And I have all that information linked for you below. So I chose this photo that was taken on Christmas Day of my youngest grandson, and he has in his mouth one of those noisemakers, and he has a clapper in each hand, and he has a hat on his head, and he is happy as a clam. So um, I decided to um, use that photo at, for my layout, and I am using the Glitter and Ice Collection by Pretty Little Studio, which is still available in the shop, and I will link that information below for you. Um, right now, I pulled out the 8x8 paper pad. It's not really a pad, but the 8x8 papers, and I am using that to back my photo. So in Kat's um, original layout, she used a bunch of banners that were... Um, hanging from, looks like it's hanging from some thread that's going across or some twine that's going across the page. And so I decided to actually cut my photo in a banner um, and then backed it with some fun red and white papers from that 8 by 8 paper pad. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through and I'm just pulling out all of the little bits that I think might work. So I used, I used an ephemera pack and um, I also got a pack that has a bunch of um, frames in it. You see those, and it has frames and words, so I pulled out the ones that I thought might work. And then I also, with this collection, purchased um, a bunch of cards. Some are, oh, I'm going to guess like 8 by 3, and then the rest are 3 by 4 cards. And so I pulled a couple of those out. Kat, in her layout, uses a 3x4 card, um, kind of where I have that red card right there. Um, I end up changing that out for something different, um, but you'll see how I kind of, I, my ideas were to use a card in that space. The other thing that she used a lot were some things um, like banners that would hang down from this um, piece of thread or string that she had, twine I think, and I decided that I would have some other things and um, that would hang down as well. So instead I pulled out this frame and I'm using actually, this is the packaging from the ephemera pack and I'm just going to use that. I love the pattern that's in it and so I'm using that behind my uh, frame here because I'm not going to put a photo in it. I am going to put my title in it And so I decided to use that kind of like how she used her um, card um, On her layout So anyway, so I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth as to what my title is going to be I could use something about family. I could use joy um, I also have these stickers that I might add to it. Um, so I'm just kind of the only thing I had really planned when I started this layout was I really wanted to use that photo and I wanted to um, make the photo be in the size or the shape of a banner. So um, that was my plan. And so as I've gone through, I've just kind of pulled out the things that I thought would fit. He has red on and he has blue jeans on, so I thought I might pull some reds and blues. And now I've kind of gone through some of the eph initial ephemera that I pulled out, and I'm putting some of it back. And now I'm finding some more um, banners that I can add to this layout. So, um, so let's see. I've used some items from the ephemera pack. I've used some items from the um, cut apart sheets, and I've used some items from the frames, the frame and title, um, frame and phrases. I guess it would be. Um, pack and um, what else now I, I went through kind of my 12 by 12s and I found that same stripey paper from the 8 by 8 papers I found it in the 12 by 12 and I'm going to use that as a border around the outside of my whole layout 
So Kat didn't have a border on hers, but um, I am kind of border addicted, I would say, maybe a little bit. And um, also, you know, when you do a scrap lift, you don't have to do it exactly. You just use it as inform in <laughs> as kind of uh, inspiration. So there's a little card there that it's actually a tag and it says peace on earth and it has a little house and I added a sticker to it that says it's Christmas day and um, I decided I needed a little bit more blue so I went through and I found that blue um, banner and that actually ends up going away but I also did use the impact label font you saw that flash up there to do my journaling and so it looks like a label maker and it is in blue and with white text and um, then I also cut out a banner from another piece of that 8x8 pad or that 8 by those 8x8 papers I added those in there and I found a little arrow that says twinkle bright and so I thought that added more of that blue in there because honestly I really wanted to use that circle um, Kat had like a speech bubble, I think, above all of her things that went across the page like this. Um, and her, so instead of the speech bubble, I'm using that circle that says Happy Holidays, December 25th on it. Um, so a lot of the thing, the basic design of this, I kept almost exactly the same. But what I changed out or made more of my own was um, some of the things that I have hanging off the um, stitching that I'm going to do. So I'm doing stitching instead of using twine. And um, so that is one way that is kind of making it mine. And then some of the things that are hanging off are a little bit different items than some of the things that she used. Um, I absolutely love this design that Kat came up with. And I may actually <laughs> scrap this again. Um, because it, it just is I am not really good at white space and this kind of forced me to put some white white space on my page and I really like the way that it turned out. I, here I decided I needed something behind the photo, a little bit more something behind the photo and I went with this blue and white paper that is also part of that 8x8 eight eight, um, group of papers. And so what I did here is I just zipped it through my um, sewing machine twice so there's like two kind of lines of sewing up there at the top and I did not put my picture I didn't sew my picture down because I wanted to pop my picture up and then I also like pop up my title and some of the other things like that so I'm almost done already so we are you know eight minutes into the video and we have like three or four left um, and those are for all the little little things that I add towards the end. So my journaling says beads, a hat, a noisemaker, and clappers. Every three-year-old's dream. How Christmas 2019. So this is the Christmas that we had with my family and we actually had it on Christmas Day this year. And so um, I don't even need to put a date because I already have that in my journaling. So one of the things with that circle is I wanted a couple more circles to make a visual triangle. And so I used um, one of the 8 by 8 pieces of paper had all these little squares uh, along it. And I used, I got that um, little snowman from there. And then I used the same paper that I have behind my photo, the blue paper I mean. And I just cut a, uh, used my hole punch, or my my one inch punch to punch both that blue out and the um, the snowman out. And then on, I used one of the little stickers that says jingle all the way that also happens to be blue. So I added that to the little blue circle. Now I'm adding thread behind all three of the circles, another kind of visual triangle thing, but also just kind of part of my style. Um, I like that kind of messy look a little bit. Um, this is a pretty, not very messy layout um, design, but I'm adding a few little touches in to make it more like my style, which is a great way to approach a scrap lift, I think. You can, you can make it pretty close to what, or exact, even using the exact same um, materials if you want, um, products, 
um, as the person that you're scrap lifting, or you can um, change it up a little bit just with products, but keep the design the same. And I've kind of done that. I changed the products up, kept the basic design the same, and then added a few little elements to make it more like my style. And I'm telling you, I, when I saw this layout from Kat, I was like, I am totally scrap lifting that. Even before I saw it as a, po a potential scrap lift Sunday layout, I knew that I wanted to scrap lift it because it's so cute. All right, so I left um, some heavy items onto those things that I was using the liquid glue with. That's the new Nuvo liquid glue that is available in the shop. And um, just kind of let it dry a little bit. And now I'm coming back to add in a few little things. Um, these uh, stars, I think actually Kat had stars on hers as well. They just happen to have stars in this um, collection. And so those worked perfectly and they're blue. And then I added a few um, enamel dots and now I'm adding a little bit of mist um, splatters um, from my stash. And those, um, just a couple. I really don't like to use too much when I'm using red because it sometimes looks like blood. <laughs> and so I'm pulling most of it off so it's a real light color and it just adds the airiness and the feel of the layout. So thanks a lot for stopping by. There's the final product, what it looks like. And here come a few close-ups and you can see the little splatters there. And my title and um, yeah, so come over to the Paper Issues Friends and Fans group and join us for Scrap Lift Sunday or any of the other wonderful challenges going on. See you again soon.